Hey there guys, it's Jason with you again. I just want to touch base. Um, this episode I'm going to be bopping in and out as I progress along with what I am doing today. Um, this is just my home as usual, except that not really as usual. Um, I've been doing a little bit of excavating, uh, hollowing things out some, making more space. I was feeling a little cramped, that and I just want to get on with my overall project of making this into one giant hollow mound of homeness. So I have continued tearing out down the length of my area here and at this level this is about as far as I can go out that way before I hit the outside world. And since uh, at this point I want to keep it kind of even. Um, I'm just going to stop this level there. Underneath I am getting damage. Going a little bit further outwards. I think I'm going to relocate the entrance of my home when all is said and done. And once I have this bottom area cleared out to uh, essentially where it's sitting right now, which is going to be about yay big. I'm just going to take that wall all the way down, as long as I don't run into the outside wor world. Or maybe I'll terraform the outside of the building a little, or outside of the mound a little bit if I need to. Uh, I did it on the left side here some. Getting up to this second level, I realized I was hitting the uh, outside world there, so I ended up putting in a wall and wanting it to look fairly natural. Uh, covered it up with a hill of dirt. Once all this is done, I'm going to determine about where I'm going to be bringing out my entrance, and I think I might come in from the other side. Uh, it makes it a little easier to get to the surrounding areas, and it'll also give us access to uh, the actual ground section of the of the mountain here and the islands that these mountain pieces are on. And those of you who are observant will notice that I did actually start using a texture pack. I was looking for one. I just recently uh, did a build. I am a member, recent member of the Minecraft fan forum and they were having a contest for a spot on the fan forum or on the fan server, the Minecraft fan server. I figured what the heck. Um, I only learned about the contest about 24 hours before the deadline and it was build a prison so hence the other video on my channel if you haven't looked at it is a walkthrough of what I built in approximately 13 hours, maybe a smidge more. And I'm rather proud of it. It was a fun build. I doubt I'm going to win and get the spot or anything. I mean, that would be insane. There are much, much better builds, uh, especially amongst the people who knew about it a couple of weeks ago and had some time to plan. I just went on the fly, winged it, and uh, I like what I came up with. I say it's not bad for a 13-hour uh, straight no-plans build. <laughs> but take a look if you want. Um, it ain't bad. Aside from that, that kind of brain fried me, which is why I'm going to be going a day without a video upload here. Uh, 13 hours straight on a build made me not exactly rip roaring ready to go for more stuff on Minecraft. I kind of had to take a little break. Hence the mindless mining. And this is even still the next day after I completed that build. So I'm just going to pop back in with you here and there as I go along with this. Uh, I'm getting everything hollowed out. Just kind of give you project updates today. So next time I see you, we will have uh, an open bottom floor and then we'll move upwards. Thanks for watching and I'll be right back. Hey there again, guys. Um, there is one other thing I wanted to mention here before I continue on with my digging. I am having the greatest luck in the world with my enchanting on uh, this Let's Play. I have enchanted uh, a couple of picks, um, swords, shovel, that kind of thing. All the usuals. And 
I have been just getting kind of crazy what I've been uh, receiving here. Let's see. I've got three picks. I've already broken one. It was a Fortune 3 uh, pickaxe. Um, I enchanted another one at that point. I got Fortune 3. I enchanted another one, and I got another one which I already broke, which was a Silk Touch uh, Efficiency 3 Unbreaking 3. Um, before, as like as I was going along, I just I got a bunch of diamonds. I decided to enchant a bunch of stuff. I got bored one night. After that, I pulled up this one, Efficiency 4, Silk Touch, and Unbreaking 3. And I've got my swords, uh, the Smite 4, which is, eh, whatever, except in the Nether, it's absolutely awesome. And then a Looting 3 sword. So I'm like, you know what? Let's make some armor. Start going with that. I've only made the chest piece so far, because I'm going straight for the diamond as far as my enchanted stuff goes. And, boom, protection four. I am just luck of the Irish going on with the enchanting. Uh, just wanted to mention that. Oh, I forgot to mention one piece. Um, enchanted a diamond shovel, just because I had 30 levels, and what the hell, why not? Efficiency four, another silk touch. I have got nothing as far as the uh, picks and shovels. Nothing but efficiency or but uh, silk touch, or fortune on every single piece that I have enchanted. So yeah, um, you'll notice that when I did my enchant before, I actually put it, uh, picked it up and put it back down eight times. Kind of a little, yeah, I don't know, uh, superstition thing with me, and uh, it's working. I don't know, the Chinese might be right. Eight certainly is a lucky number for me on this uh, on this game. So, I was just wanted to share that as well. I'll be back with you in a little bit. And just an update. I enchanted another shovel, not wanting to waste my silk touch shovel. And, uh, yeah, fortune two, efficiency three, unbreaking three. Um, not the absolute best shovel in the game, but pff, I'll take it. <laughs> See you in a minute. Well, I just learned something today. I was just mining out behind my portal and realized that uh, when the stone fell into the portal, it disappeared. So I was wondering, if I go through the portal, is it on the other side? So, if you'll notice, I only have one piece of stone in my inventory. We're just going to go ahead and... Oop, there we go. It only has to get close, too. Nothing, nothing left. No other stone in my inventory. And there it is. It works with weapons and armor too. I chucked uh, my sword and my helmet through there. So, uh, strange. I knew it worked for mobs. I did not think it would be triggered just by random blocks. does mean that you could set up a, uh, hmm, actually, has a couple of possibilities now, doesn't it? Could set up an automated water system to feed items into the nether, uh, especially if you're playing on a multiplayer server. I'm going to have to try that on multiplayer and see if it works in my SMP as well. So you could have one guy on one side sending them through, and the uh, person on the other side picking them up and moving them down the line. Uh, be easier than running back and forth and back and forth with all the lag that you get going through uh, the nether portal. So, hmm. Learn something new every day, right? Talk to you later. Alrighty. So, it's been a while. Uh, I finished hollowing out the center of my... or the first floor, and... Uh, Oh. Damn Enderman. Come here, I need another eye. Where's my looting sword? Nope, not smite. I want... Looting. There we go. I have com almost completely worn out my efficiency pick. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to fix that sucker up, which means a trip down to the nether to use my farm. But that's no big deal. For right now, we're going to... Oh, come on, you bastard. Come for me. Oh, crap. Come at me, bro. Yeah, sound like a
That is the stupidest sound effect ever. It really is. I fought in your general direction. I am the end of man. Alright. Damn. Come on, warp back in, you little bastard. Now, oh, well, so be it. Yeah, can't get what you want all the time, right? Alright, so like I was saying, I have uh, finished hollowing out first floor and second floor. Um, that is my max width, left and right. Bottom floor is 33 by 27. Uh, I did not measure this one yet. And I was going to start up on the next one. I realized I was sick and tired of mining rock. Let's do that. Like, really, really sick of it. So, I made myself up a just a buttload of torches. I still have more. I was going to make another go at this. I've already done two, but I um, decided to torch up the outside world. The general theory that I might just turn the top of my... The top of my house here. Alright, the last... I don't know eight blocks or so into a drop item gather farm. Uh, more specifically, uh, I just want to source for a lot, and I mean a lot, of gunpowder for TNT. So, um, ain't the easiest way mm -hmm. to show this to you guys, and I'm not going to do this often. Uh, I mean, it's my world, I can really do what I want, but I prefer to play it legit if I have the option. I missed a couple of spots there. Oh, more stupid cows, and you're glitched. Yep, get back in there. Oh, by the way, that's my cow area. I uh, spent a few hours sitting here uh, waiting for them to time up. Feeding them, breeding them, waiting for them to time up again, feeding them. And uh, I have stacks upon stacks of steak now. It's a nice way to waste some time while I watch YouTube videos. And played around with uh, the possibility of changing my skin. I am Steve again at this point. Um, I had been borrowing one that I had found on the forums. Um, oh, I think it was called Let It Burn, something like that, uh, which was fairly cool, but I just got into uh, the concept of making my own. But, um, oh yeah, like I, <laughs> I got sidetracked. My brain is a little frazzled after running around and doing this for a while, so um, let's go ahead and do this. Do this. We're going to fly as soon as I can get out of the damn water. Creative. There we go. Alright. So, essentially, uh, let's see. Time set. I made myself a mob perimeter with torches. I spam the hell out of torches all over the place. This little island here is actually going to wind up being my uh, tree farm. Um, I went checking around in down here. And see, this is uh, about as far as I got, and I ran out of torches after my second round of uh, manufacture. And said, okay, that's enough of that crap for right now. Um, basically got my entire island taken care of. I don't think there's any large spots where mobs can, uh, mobs can spawn. And I was thinking about it, and I'm not entirely sure why I went this wide out. I was initially thinking, um, 
I needed to light up the world for turning the top of my structure here into a drop item grinder or item collection unit or whatever but uh thought about it and really it would be incredibly useful and uh effective during the day even without lighting all this stuff up so sort of wasted time but like i said i was brain fried from mining rock and uh dirt and everything else that was going on and decided what the hell let's go place some torches but that being said all right let's hmm. That being said, that being said, I dug straight upwards here, up to the surface, and I am thinking, uh, I'm going to crawl up there and put a water drop in for right now, so i got an easy way up and down. I'm going to hollow out the very top. I may get rid of it later and move it to one of the other pieces, but uh, I'm going to hollow out the very top of this and just uh, run a couple of channels of water off of some spawning pads. Uh, they won't be very large, but they should continuously spawn while I'm down in my building here. Or doing my building, I should say. And um, probably... Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I might throw an iron golem or two up there to... Uh, on each pad to try and keep the uh, keep the riffraff out, stuff I don't need, because really all I'm looking for is creepers. I wish, I wish there were creeper spawners, but you'd never be able to deal with one. You'd be dead before you had a chance to uh, light it up. So that's what I have done here. Um, I got an idea that I want to try out here, and I may do that here before I end this vid. Or I may not, I don't know, I might do it next time around when I have some more time. Like I said, I'm still a little brain fried. But, um... I'm gonna get rid of that dirt and put in rock. Essentially, uh, first floor, here. I think this uh, upper floor level where I have it right now is going to be what um, where I'm going to leave that. I'm just not sure exactly uh, as far as it's going to be a solid floor or catwalk around into rooms. Um, I can't go any further out that way and I can't go any further out that way. At least, especially not towards the far end here. Um, down here, I got a little space, maybe five blocks, but that's about it before... I hit open uh, before I hit open air. And while I am showing things to you, um, nothing has changed in here. Still exactly what it was. But I also did this. I'm thinking this is going to be my transportation hub for in the normal world. I will just go ahead and uh, hollow out rail tracks. Ah, I did it again. Darn it. Get back there. There we go. This one. I hate going diagonal. Alright, there we go. Um, this one takes me to my skelly grinder, which I made very, very good use of the other day. I have a double chest and then some of arrows. Now I'm set on arrows for a long time. You probably will not see me hanging out by that grinder for quite a while. But uh, you never know. Depends how quick I end up going for the uh, ender dragon and how many time it takes me to kill him. Why does that one pop a little further out? I mean, whatever. I'm thinking I'll just end up having various tracks run, sort of like uh, set up my nether hub with tracks from one area to another but have them in the in the normal world as well that'll be a when I'm bored someday project though I want to get my actual home 
along a little further here before I start doing anything as uh, frivolous as that. See, I've got this much space here. But then I start hitting the outside world. And that is what I've done today. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how long all these little bits and pieces are going to be, so you may see some more of me. But we will find out after I have a chance to look at the raw footage. Talk to you guys in a bit. Hey there, guys. Well, I think this is going to be the perfect ender for uh, my little what I was doing today clip show. Um, <laughs> I should not have mentioned the fact that I was having the luck of the Irish with my enchanting. Shouldn't have brought it up. I shot myself in the foot, sawed off, double barrel, boom, see you later. Um, as you can see, I am now, oh crap, I'm carrying a bunch of diamonds with me. Uh, I had to respawn, because, uh, I just lost everything I had. Um, my looting sword, my regular sword, I had them both with me, because I was down here hunting, uh, wither skeletons. I went back up to where my portal is, um, <clears throat> cruising right along, everything's looking beautiful, acting just fine. I decided um, my portal area is right up near the ceiling bedrock and so I wanted to uh, see how far down it went so I was not digging straight down I ain't that stupid um, but netherrack is way 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 too easy to break with an efficiency sword or I mean efficiency pick especially efficiency four Oh, fuck my life. Um, <clears throat> so I was going two down on one side, two down the other, and just working my way back down, and then just going to pillar back up. And uh, got a nice little lag spike while I was breaking blocks and ended up breaking the one in front of where I thought I was aiming. And I dropped directly into the lava. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye to all the goodies. My uh, good pick. I mean, I still got another uh, another fortune pick at home, so that's no big deal. My shovel's still at home, so whatever. But my good pick is dead, burned up in the lava. Uh, yeah, it was fantastic. So, on that note, I think I'm done for tonight. So, uh, you guys have yourselves a great evening. Thanks for coming by and seeing me. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I know I said I was done for the night, but um, went down to my spawner and uh, pulled myself up a few levels. And efficiency four, silk touch one. All it needs is unbreaking. And that was just, once again, Putting it down in place eight times uh, seems to be the magic number for this particular world. i got to see how long this keeps going on. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alright, this will definitely be the last thing for the evening. I want to try something stupid. Um, I want to see how far I can run up my blaze spawner. My blaze farm here. Before I just can't render it anymore before it sh basically just shuts my system down. Um, I've run it up to a hundred, no big deal. I can still record full frame rate. I made some tweaks recently to my video card settings specifically for Minecraft because that's all I really play at the moment anyway. I'll have to change those around if I get anything more in depth. But I'm actually pulling a higher frame rate route while recording than I have been. Uh, as of the last couple of days. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, sit here and watch that entity count skyrocket. See how far it can go before, first, before I have to turn off my particles. And after that, see if it ever gets to a point where it just, uh, where my frame rate lags too much that I can't let them, let them build up anymore. So, I'll touch base with you guys again at that point to collect 
however many blazes it ends up being and then we'll call it for an evening I'll talk to you guys in a minute all right now things are starting to get a little laggy or at least while recording I'm still up around uh, 30 frames or so when I'm not but uh, I made it to 180 blazes that's not half bad yeah, only running a single video card, so I had to add a second one in one of these days. What we're going to do at this point then is... Oh, looky there. 48, 49, not quite 50, but pretty damn close. Alright, I'm going to let this sucker keep running. I want to see if uh, I can make any major difference. <laughs> There's a small, sick little part of me wants to let it run all night, see if I can crash my computer. But I don't think I want to try that after all. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. See how far I can take it and then uh, collect all these buggers, see how much XP we get. I'll be back with you in a few. Alrighty then. Well. We are approaching 450. Um, I think I'm going to call this a success. I'm never going to let this thing run this high again. Eh, success, I don't know what the success would be, but what the heck. It was fun to do just to see if I get an absolutely retarded number of mobs. I do, of course, have my game open to LAN. I have noticed in my single-player games before there's like an 85 mob cap in an area, which is ridiculous, even with a spawner. Um, so I'm assuming it's because I've got uh, I've got it set to LAN. Also, since it's set to LAN, I can hit the escape button and do something else while I sit at a spawner. And that's always helpful. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and lock these bastards in place and uh, crush them. Let's see how much XP we get. Ah, 445. Alright. Get out of the way. <laughs> this is the point where I take a fire resist potion and then break the glass. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm back and made myself a little hole back here. I realized I was standing too close when I was chucking my potions. I was actually taking some damage from them. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll crash your frame rate. Yeah, not too bad. Had me up to 900 or thereabouts. Uh, we're just going to let this thing count up, and then I'm going to say goodnight. <laughs> well, thank you guys for hanging out with me again. I do greatly appreciate it. It's always nice to have folks around watching me talk to myself in my office in front of my computer. But, um, got anything you want me to do? You got any questions for me? Feel free to shout them out. Love that comment section. Getting more comments these days, which is always nice. And they've been positive, which makes me happy. Uh, so far, a few likes. No straight-up dislikes, which is always awesome. I think I may have mentioned this already. Um, i got some other vids up on my channel here. Uh, walkthrough of my old world. And... Uh, Oh, no, no, the uh, old world walkthrough isn't up yet. I will be putting that up soon, as well as the uh, walkthrough on my new multiplayer world that I, uh, my SMP server, uh, also my prison for the Minecraft uh, fan server slot contest. No way in hell I'm going to win, but man, it was a lot of fun to build that prison. Um, give it a look if you like, and what do we got? 54 levels. Not bad at all. I'll take that. 
That being said, I'm going to call it this evening. You guys have yourselves a great night. It was nice hanging out with you. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to. Leave me a comment. Do whatever you want. And I'll see you guys next time.